Hello, this is Jerry Jokoy. I'm going to be doing a review on the Cold Steel uh, Trench Hawk and the, the S-Wing Tomahawk. So, I'll start off by reading um, the specs on it. The, um, okay, <laughs> where is it? Okay, the Cold Steel Trench Hawk is a drop forged combat tomahawk 19 inches overall with a black well this one has the olive drab securex sheath is what they call it and uh, it has uh, the it's 29 ounces the primary edge the cutting edge of uh, is 20 i mean three and a half inches and um, the overall length is 19 inches it's 1055 carbon steel and it's made in Taiwan and the S-Wing the S-Wing Tomahawk is 16 and a quarter inches and it's a lightweight hatchet with forged steel construction and G-Shock reduction grip and um, it is maximum strength and durability for lifelong hard work outdoor versatility perfect for chopping small trees branches use pick in for breaching excavation and extrication heavy duty sheath includes ballistic nylon sheath to protect the hand sharpened cutting edge patent, patented shock reduction grip and it's made in the usa so i guess i will start with the um, the cold steel it's um it is really sharp. I mean, it's. It, I've cut myself on accident with this. It is really, really sharp. I mean, so this is more like a weapon, but it's not as wieldy. It's like, it's so long. To me, it feels good right here. Like, I wish the palm swell was right about here. This was cut off and the palm swell was right here. That would feel natural. And it's heavier. So it's less wieldy, but it is, um, you know, they have this where you can choke up on it. And there's the finger tools up here, so you can really use it for work. And, um, I mean, you really could use it for camping. I, to me, it's really sharp, and uh, it's more of a, it seems to be more suited for a weapon. It really is. And uh, this propa, I don't know how to say that, pro, proper propylene handle, whatever, is um, pretty durable and it's light but uh it, it'll last longer than wood and a lot of people buy these for throwing and i me i'm not i'm not gonna throw them I, they're cool I, I bought them because i like them um are there circumstances that you could use it for self-defense yes is it very likely no i don't think you know it's you know i mean like i mentioned before there's been some circumstances in the last couple of years. To me, it's cowardly to pull a gun on somebody that's unarmed. But if you had somebody on PCP that are coming after you and your family, I don't want to fight them unarmed. I don't want to go hand to hand with somebody like that. They don't know they're hurt. Even the police don't like to fight these people. They're crazy. I had to do CPR a few years ago on a girl that was on PCP. And her body was like, it was like she was tied to a backboard moved up here and her everything moved together her whole body was just stiff and locked and i mean it was scary the strength she had so there are circumstances where i can see you know if this was something you had i mean i just don't believe in i think it's cowardly to pull a gun on somebody if they're unarmed i really do but i don't believe in being a victim so there are circumstances that an equalizer is not a bad thing to have so i'm not being stupid i'm serious but this is cool a lot of people buy it just because it's cool to have i mean you, you know they collect weapons they collect knives these things are pretty cool i'm not going to go buy 20 tomahawks there are some they're like um 350 and they're really nice and they're designed to be breaching tools they have like a prying end on them they're like three fifty. I, I can tell you what, I'm not going to spend three hundred fifty dollars and use something like that that nice, breaching with it. And uh, speaking of that, this I would because it's forty. Both of these are about forty dollars. And uh, this one, 
is it feels more wieldy. It feels good. It has this, it's lightened by, um, I mean, it, it doesn't feel too heavy. It feels really good. I mean, it feels, it's balanced just right. This one feels good, but it doesn't have an edge sharp like that. It's not near as sharp and it's, you can look at like to me for a tomahawk, it needs to be come down, you know, maybe five degrees on each side. And, uh, I really do, but for a breaching tool, probably just like it is, you know, I mean, I really do think this would be a formidable tool for like a breaching team overseas. They, um, typically a sledgehammer is the primary tool, but I could see where this would come in handy to have and, um, even camping. I could see a lot of reasons and I'm not afraid to use this because like I said, it's $40 and they make them. You can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and buy them, you know, or you can, I got mine on Amazon and uh, it came here in one day. So I didn't have to leave and pay for this expensive gas. And it's pretty cool. There's a lot of things it could be used for. This is a tool. This is a pretty cool tool. I like it. And it is also a tomahawk. I am going to sharpen it. The other one absolutely doesn't need it. The cold steel, but this one, you know, if I was just going to chop wood like around a camp with it, no, I'd leave it like it is, but it's a tomahawk. I want it to be a tomahawk. So, you know, I am going to do that, but it's pretty cool. And I'm not afraid to use it because I paid $40 for it. And it's, it really feels good. It really does. It's perfectly balanced. It's not, I mean, e either hand, even my left hand, it feels, you know, it just feels good. It feels no matter how you hold it, it just, you know, it feels I like it. It feels really good. It's a pretty cool tool and it's a pretty cool weapon. I like it. So, <clears throat> and they both come with um, pretty good sheaths, uh, especially, you know, this one. I can see where you can put that in your belt or something or, you know, lash it to your equipment. But uh, I don't know. This Securex, I don't know. I mean, I can see where this keeps it from. It, this is sharp. I'm serious. This thing is. I'll give you another look at it. Uh, it is really, really sharp, man. This thing, I, I mean, I couldn't even touch it up. and I, I wouldn't do anything to it. It is, it cut me, like I said, uh, messing with it. And, uh, but I don't know how you could really carry it like on a belt or something. If you wanted to do that, I don't really know how you could do that, but, um, you could carry it, you know, like if you had it in your car or in your truck, um, <clears throat> that would keep it from cutting somebody or cutting things it's not supposed to be cutting. So that's pretty cool. And uh, you could, you know, use these things right here to lash it to something, I guess, if that's what you wanted to do. But this is a pretty cool tomahawk as well. I mean, for whatever, if you're buying them for throwing or for just to have it, to have something cool because you like it. Who, you know, you, do you really have to have a reason to buy something that you like that you think is cool? I don't think so. I don't regret either one of them. I like them both. But if if I had to use one for like seriously around a camp and I was going to chop wood, I would want to, I would probably prefer this one. And if I really was using for breaching, I would want to use this. You know, I wouldn't have a problem using it. I didn't spend too much on it and it's tough. It's strong. It's forged steel and S-Wing is a good company. They make really I've used their framing hammers and uh, mostly for uh, concrete forms and uh, it's a badass hammer. One of my boss called it a, um, uh, what did he call it? Uh, he said, we were doing some trim. I was framing for him and he said, let me see that battle axe. And he threw that damn thing like 50 yards and said, get away from my trim work. I don't blame him. That's a big old hammer. But yeah, S-Wing makes a good tool. I like S-Wing, and um, this is no exception. This is, yeah, I really like this. This is made in USA, and it's a nice, it's a cool tomahawk. I really don't want to go buy a bunch of tomahawks. Both these, these are really cool, and I'm glad I have them, and I probably will. Probably I'll put this one in my car, because like if I came up on a wreck and wanted to help get somebody out of a car or something, I would feel like this would be a better tool for that job or just whatever, you know, uh, this, 
it's kind of cool to have. I like, I carry a shovel, a fold up shovel in my car and a, a machete and, you know, I like to be prepared. I like to carry things like that. I like to be, you never know. Anyway, I hope that, um, it's kind of hard to do a tomahawk review because it's a tomahawk, but these are pretty cool and there's some other reviews out there on them and, um, I hope you get something out of my review and if you like them, subscribe and give a thumbs up and I'll be doing different reviews on more knives and things. Um, so I appreciate your support and I hope you enjoy my Husky videos and my knife reviews. So y'all take care and thanks a lot.